The wait is nearly over. As expected, all roads lead to September for what appears to be the final PlayStation event of 2024, and Spider-Man 2 fans are already losing their minds. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What to do, Direct Nation? I'm back with Super News, bringing you the latest superhero news in five minutes or less because I respect your time if you subscribe. So if this video was helpful, hit the like button so it reaches more people, but if it wasn't for you, change it to a dislike. So we got some good news and bad news to go over in this video. As previously reported by several insiders, PlayStation has been planning something big for September because they want to close out the year strong, heading into an uncertain 2025 where no major first party games have been revealed yet. It's also reportedly an open secret at this point that Sony is planning a mid-gen refresh and will be dropping the PS5 Pro this year. It's such an open secret that developers were reportedly openly talking about it during Gamescom and how it has impacted the release schedule of their games. So it was always a matter of when, and with Sony scheduled to appear at this year's Tokyo Game Show at the end of September, most agree this was our answer. Back in 2016, Sony revealed the PlayStation 4 Pro with a dedicated event that also showed off the game that would eventually become their biggest system seller, Marvel Spider-Man, from newly acquired studio Insomniac Games. In 2020, they showed off what comes next after the PS4 Pro with a showcase all about what to expect from the PlayStation 5, which included a look at launch title Spider-Man Miles Morales. And it appears Sony is not changing up their marketing strategy as we just got another leak revealing what appears to be their September rollout plan for the PS5 Pro. The leak god himself, Jeff Grubb, revealed the information on his Game Mess Mornings podcast. There is probably going to be a state of play, a Sony PlayStation state of play, not a showcase, a state of play mm -hmm. end by the end of September. Let's do this one again. God, that was fun okay. last time. Ammo where I was like, hey, the state of play is coming in this month. And then the month wasn't over and people were still like, well, where is it? Jeff is, of course, referring to the last PlayStation event he leaked, which was a PlayStation State of Play that dropped at the end of May. Gamers with no inside information kept saying Grub was wrong about it because they seemingly weren't aware that there are more than three days in May. Needless to say, Grub had a lot of fun on Twitter when he was proven right again and wants all the smoke. So it's not a PlayStation showcase, but what can we expect at another State of Play? These typically run for 20 to a max of 40 minutes and we should expect sony to not only reveal the release date of the pro but also showcase some games to get sony ponies excited about dropping another potential 400 to 500 dollars on a console upgrade these games will likely include lego horizon adventures reportedly releasing in november this could also be a chance to reveal ghost of tsushima 2 for a potential 2025 launch as well as marvel's wolverine for either the same year or 2026 there is also so of course, their previously leaked Spider-Man 2 story DLC, which fans have been patiently waiting months for to get an official announcement on. I would expect that DLC, if announced at the show, to release as early as October and as late as November. This makes sense as Insomniac recently confirmed they're planning to drop another new update for Spider-Man 2 this year. Click the video on screen to learn more.